and shelters from anywhere from 16 people. I consulted on a shelter that held over 2,000. Uh, so it, it varies greatly, but you're absolutely right about, you know, okay, how far away do these shelters protect people? You know, FEMA has a, a formula about, you know, we want to make sure that people can get to that shelter and be locked down in less than five minutes. So now there becomes this radius around this shelter of what is practical for people to, you know, get into the get into their vehicle or walk across the street, but to be able to get to that shelter within five minutes. There's a lot of things about a community shelter that people really have to think about, though. Um, the worst thing for to happen is that somebody five minutes away travels, gets in their vehicle, travels, goes to the shelter, only to find that it's locked. And they have to go back to their home or back somewhere else because now they've just potentially doubled their exposure to that, that event. You know, the first amount of time is probably not so bad, but then when they got to turn around and go somewhere else, it's just the storm's going to be that much closer to them. So that comes with a real word of warning with community shelters that, you know, how do you maintain it? Who's going to open it? Who's going to make sure that, you know, that the shelter, all the shutters are shut correctly, all those type of things. That becomes some really important stuff. Uh, the operations of it becomes really, really important. One of the problems that I see with a community type shelter, one that is open up to the entire community, is you know, we may design it for X number of people. And all of a sudden, here's this tornado that's coming to this town, and we figured this radius around it and the people within that radius we've planned on. But what about the people outside that radius that may go ahead and come in? What happens if there's not quite enough room in that shelter? Those are things that have to be discussed. Uh, with whoever's operating that shelter because those could be real problems. You know, who's going who's gonna to make those decisions about we're full, you can't come in because we don't have any room. That's a hard, that's a hard decision to have to make.